Okay, so last class uh, we've been learning about uh, the different type of accents used in the language and also about few salutations, right? So today we are going to learn about uh, the list of few words that's already shared with you. You can see it on the screen here. So uh, just have a look at it. Uh, some of the words you could guess the meaning easily. There are a few words which you may not, but uh, that's fine. So here, okay. uh, can you tell me what do you uh, the meaning of the words? Any word that you may just uh, list out the word meanings if you could guess the meaning. University. University. What else is here? Museum. Museum. Okay. A supermarket. Supermarket. Restaurant. House. House. Restaurant. Hospital from Opatha. Yes, hospital. Refrigerator. Refrigerator. Film. Film. Bank. Bank. Park. Park. Could you okay. see the post hotel? Could you see the post office Fan. somewhere? Fan. The La Post. La Post is. Yes. Zoo. Zoo. Garden. Garden. Okay. Which idea. Other? Idea. Chamber. Chambers room. Okay. Chamber. Any idea about a resource social? Social network. Pandemic. Loisir. Yeah. Loisir is hobby. So um, some words are similar to the English one. So it's easy to guess, isn't it? Uh, so this is how the words will be in the French language. Most of the words you can guess the meaning and some you could connect it to the context and guess it easily. So the words are not going to be completely new. You can learn it easily. And uh, you can see the accents used here and there. I've explained about the different usages of accents. And I've also mentioned the point that you're going to learn the accents along with the spellings. So try, don't try yourself to fix the accent here and there. So the accents are already there. Just learn of, uh, where it is used, in which alphabet of the word it's used. Okay. So what is it uh, so different that you see apart from the accents and the meanings? Uh, what is so different in the list of words? <coughs> Articles. Okay. The L-E-L-A-U-N-U-N-E-D-E-S-L-E-S. -E 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 wherever okay. there is an uh, like uh, vowels are present, the apostrophe is present. Okay, good. Fine. So this is what we are going to learn today. We are going to see uh, why we are using this L E L A L E S U N U N E D E S etc. along with the nouns. And we are go also going to uh, find out the use uh, why they have mentioned the F and the M at the end of each word. Can you say it? What does that M stand for? Within brackets, you can see the M's and F's. Can anybody guess what is that? Mam masculine and feminine. Yes, exactly. Good. Fine. So let's see it in detail right now. Okay. So I'll start sharing a PPT. So we are going to see about those words, le, 
So this is the and this is a. So now we'll see one by one. So here is the list of definite articles with the examples. So uh, one basic thing that you need to know is uh, the French nouns on the vocabulary. They are simply categorized under two genders, masculine and feminine. In English, that doesn't happen. Only for the living things, the relations, father, mother, grandfather, uncle, aunt, you have the gender, right? Here, even all the objects, for example, the key, the keychain, the mobile, the scissors, the table, the book, the calendar, the fan, yes, all the objects, all the nouns will have, will fall under the masculine or the feminine gender, right? So for that sake, we have the different forms of different articles. You can see le is used for the masculine words. Le chat, le pantalon, le cahier. Le, le, le. The word the cat, the pant, the notebook. So they are all masculine words. And you have la, la table, la chemise, la pomme, the table, the shirt the apple so these are all feminine words so they use la so how do you know which is masculine or which is feminine that's the next question which arises so i'll answer to that question here how do you identify feminine words you can see the feminine words are identified by the endings of each word if you find that the word is ending with e or i o n Example, la chaise, the chair, la table, the table, la chemise, the shirt. So these are the words ending with E, so they are all feminine. La télévision, the television, la natation, the swimming. So it's ending with I, Y, N. Mostly all the words which ends with I, O, N, the sham, salutation, salutation. Yes, multiplication, addition, subtraction, all the shuns. They are almost the same word in French also. We will see those words later. So all the words ending with I, Y, N are also feminine. So it's with the endings you identify the gender of an of a noun. You got it? So this ending should be in your mind forever. Even if you forget French, you shouldn't forget these endings. Right? Okay, but uh, you can see that uh, all the uh, um, rules do have an exception. Yes, not always everything or everybody will follow the rules. We do have exceptions. Uh, yeah, maybe a language or the rules in the life that we learn, etc. Isn't it? So here as well we have exceptions. You can see no libre, the book. It's ending with E, but it is not feminine. It takes the masculine article, le livre. So the book is a masculine word. Le café, it ends with E, but it's masculine. Le portable, the mobile or the laptop, it ends with E. Again, it's masculine. So you can see these three words are ending with E, but still they are masculine. So that's why we call them as exceptions. And the last two words, la maison, the house, la cour, the courtyard, the courtyard of a house. So they don't end with E, but still they are feminine. So the exception can be either way. They may end with E, but they remain masculine. They may not end with E, but they are feminine. So there are a few exceptions that you have to remember 
when you are applying these rules. But again, the next question, how do I identify exceptions? It's very easy. You just have to, I have the words, that's all. Got it? You just have to know, you have to remember the list of exceptions. Remembering the exceptions will be easy because like 98% of the French vocabulary will fall under the rule of identifying feminine gender. Just the 2% they fall under the exceptions. Right, and in this uh, course that you're learning, the beginners level, in this syllabus, you'll come across some 10 to 12 exceptions, not more than that. So remembering the exceptions will be easy. Right? When I say exceptions, yes, there are some 10 to 12 words that you should know, and those exceptions are applicable for uh, throughout the entire French language. So whatever we are going to learn from now on, whatever French rule we learn, we do have exceptions and it's going to be the same. We need to remember these words. So I can tell you a simple hint. You can just try to put all the five words in a sentence and try to remember the sentence perfectly. Like uh, for example, uh, uh, you are having, uh, you are sitting at the courtyard of your house having coffee and reading a book in your mobile reading a book in your mobile so likewise you can frame your own sentences trying to connect all the words and remember the sentence so you can easily remember the exceptions used easily right. so any question here No. Okay, I'll get back to the So here you can see the la is used for masculine and the la is used for feminine. And now you know the rule for identifying feminine. You can use them easily use the articles. And the third one, uh, L E S, is used for all the plural words. For all the plural words. It's lesha, le pantalon, le pen, le sha, the cats, le pantalon, the pants, and le pom, the apples. So the plural words are all uh, will all end with S as in English. So you can easily identify the plural words. So these are the usage of the definite articles. And we did see the last form of uh, definite article. You can see here, we saw the L apostrophe form. So when do we use that? So it's not a completely new word. L apostrophe also means the. Uh, it's like uh, the le and la. It's the other form of L-E and L-A. When you use L-E and L-A, le and la, along with the word beginning with vowel, you can see that it takes L apostrophe. For example, l'âge, the age, l'enfant, the child, l'Indien, the Indian, l'oiseau, the bird, l'université, the university. Right. So you can see the words are all beginning with the vowel. So when it begins with the vowel automatically the le and la respect of the gender of the word it will take l apostrophe and what are the vowels a a e o u and when i'm talking about vowels along with vowels you have another word which is h we call it as H mute. H mute. Because the H in the language is always a silent. We don't pronounce a H of the word. So we consider H also like a vowel, and this L apostrophe applies also for the words beginning with H. Yes? So remember the words L, La, Le. And the fourth word is L apostrophe. So, L is used for masculine, La for feminine, Le for plural, and L apostrophe for vowel. 
and the feminine words the rule for identifying feminine word they end with either e or i o n and sometimes we have exceptions so this is the complete idea of the definite articles in the french language if you have any further question you can ask me is the point clear Okay. I want you to uh, write down all those rules and all in your notebook so that you'll uh, remember it. Okay. So don't uh, just take printouts and uh, save it. for last minute learning i would rather suggest that you write down all these even though it will be uploaded in the course page uh, if it's uh, with you in your notebook in your handwriting that would be uh, nice now i'll be uh, sharing a simple uh, worksheet with you where you'll be asked to fill up with the definite and the definite articles so i will be sharing it now <coughs> so here it is So here uh, is uh, the list of a few words in French. Obviously, the translation is given within bracket. Not always you'll get the translation of the words. It's just since you're new to the language, I'm putting the English version within brackets. So you read the question clearly. It says complete avec l'article défini. Complete avec l'article défini. So complete means complete avec with. definite article so this is how you get the question in the exam also it will be in french so understand the question better only then you could answer easily so here is the first word which is kaye the notebook so which form of definite article will you use so for this you need to know whether what are definite articles it's l e l a l e s and l apostrophe now can you come up with the answers L E L E yes. L E L E What about pantalon L E S L E L E is pantalon it's given in singular form pantalon hmm? ha huh? L E L E yeah each one can try out the answers okay don't hesitate even if it's wrong fine you learn from mistakes Chien. Elias. Elias. Yes. Animal. L apostrophe. Animal is a masculine word, so it should be L E. Since it's beginning with vowel, I use L apostrophe. Correct. Animal. And then free. L E. L E. Le free. Yes. Le free. Legume. Legume. Yes. Yes. Le legume, le legume, chemise, la, yeah, la chemise, chaise, yes, chaise is ending with e, so it's feminine, la chaise, ecran, l apostrophe, yeah, it's masculine, it should be l e, but is cause it's beginning with vowel i put it as i'll make it l apostrophe bonk l e l e l e l a la bonk it ends with e fami l e l a la fami university l apostrophe it's so it's ending with e the answer is it should have been l a but it's beginning with vowel so i use l apostrophe 
l'université. Hôtel. Elle a pas le Elle a pas le Yeah, it should be Ellie. So it should be beginning with H. Mute, H, silent. So elle a pas le It's like a vowel. And hôpital. Elle a pas le L apostrophe, okay. And the last word, le stylo. Le stylo. So you got le cahier, le pantalon, le chat, les chiens, l'animal, le fruit, les légumes, la chemise, la chaise, l'écran, la banque, la famille, l'université, l'hôtel, L'hôpital, le stylo. So, this is how you use articles. So, how many words are there? 5, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. So, you have answered to the 16 words correctly. You score 8 marks. So, each fill up carries half mark. So, this is a 8 mark question. So, this is how you will get questions in your exam as well. So if you're thorough with the rules of identifying masculine, feminine, plural words, if you know what are definite articles, you can easily score. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Any doubt here? Uh, Ma'am, can you please pronounce the heading once again? That uh, main heading. Complete avec l'article défini. Complete, complete, hein, et complete avec l'article défini. Ok. Avec means what, ma'am? With. Complete. Complete with definite article. Ok. Ma'am, yes. in exam also, the question will be in French only, ma'am. Yes, 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 but you can understand the question. Don't you understand what's complete? Complete. So if you know the word complete and the definite article, it's understood that you have to use the definite article in the fill in the blanks. If you need not worry if you don't know the word avec, what is avec? Just pick up the keywords and start doing it. Anyway, I'll be giving you the question format and all. So you will have to learn the question and answer and the answer as well when you are learning for the exam. Okay, fine. Let me proceed with the indefinite article. So this doesn't need much explanation because it's almost same as the definite article, the same explanation. Though you have the same genders, you have the same exceptions, everything is same. Just the spellings vary. So we call it as les articles indéfinis. Les articles indéfinis. So you have un, une, des. Un is masculine, une, feminine, and des is used for plural words. So the example, un chat, un pantalon. So when I'm reading you in, I'm giving a stress for you to understand. I'm telling and, eh, but it's not and eh, only. Just read it very lightly. Un chat, un pantalon, un cahier. You can't say and chat, and pantalon. That's wrong. Okay. So it's un chat, un pantalon, un cahier. A cat, a pant, a notebook. Une table, a table. Une chemise. A shirt, un pom, an apple. Des chats, some cats. Yes, that's a plural. When you say a cat and its plural is going to be some cats. Un pantalon, des pantalons, some pants, des pom, some apples. So the word des means some. So it's a, a, some. Got it. So this is all about indefinite articles. Any question what here? What is the pronunciation of the masculine UN? Uh. Uh, sorry? 
an. Okay. It's simply an. Sometimes they pronounce it also like on. Depends. We have different dialects in French in France as well, right? So we follow the pronunciation as an. Yun. De. An. Yun. De. Got it. So don't get confused with the definite and indefinite. That's what uh, happens in the exam. You'll be very confident of all the rules, everything. Once you read the question, I've seen many of them answering, filling in the blank with uh, indefinite in place of definite article. So you need to be sure about which is definite and which is indefinite. Fine. Okay, and then here is Complete avec l'article indéfini. Complete with indefinite article. So, un cahier, the answers are already filled up. Un cahier, a notebook, un pantalon, a pant, un chat, a cat, des chiens, some dogs, un animal, an animal, un fruit, a fruit, des legumes, some vegetables, une chemise, a shirt, une chaise, a chair, an écran, a screen, une banque, a bag, une famille, a family, une université, an university, un hôtel, a hotel, an hôpital, a hospital, a stylo, a pen. So it's the same words that I'd use for the definite article exercise. Is that fine? Any question? So this is about the definite and the indefinite articles. So uh, be very clear about definite and indefinite articles. So these are the seven forms of the articles. I'll stop presenting this. I'll share the previous document that I had shared with you. The word Yes. So now you could see the title, the list of words with the title. So you can take them as examples. So now I think the answer, the question is answered. Like why it's L E L A L apostrophe and L E S for certain words is. And there are a few examples for the indefinite is. Uh, so depending on the context, you either you, uh, you, you choose the article. If you want to say I'm working in a university, you use the indefinite. If you want to say the university is famous, you're going to use indefinite. You know when to use the and a in English, isn't it? The same way here. <clears throat> you understand the sentence, the context and choose a judiciously between the le la le and the in the. So that can't be explained, that can't be fixed in a certain rule. So you should be knowing when to use definite and indefinite article very clearly as you use in English. Right? I have a family. I have a family. Obviously, you use UNE. When you want to say the family is happy, you're going to use la l a the family so likewise you choose and uh, at the end of each word you have a m within bracket which is masculine and the f states that it's a feminine word so this is given for your uh, reference it, it's not you need not write whether it's masculine or feminine within bracket by the usage of the article we'll obviously know whether it's a masculine or feminine word and with the ending you know it it's just for your reference, I'm mentioning whether it's a masculine or feminine word for you. <clears throat> so you can see the word uh, 
refrigerator doesn't end with e, it's masculine right portable is an exception do you find any other exception i had showed you five exceptions when we learned articles do you find any other exception you just uh, see the first column of words and let me know if you find any exception to the rule we have learned the rule that the word ending with e and i o n are feminine do you find any exception here a uh, cinema last one yeah new yes cinema is not ending with e it's going by the rule it's masculine only museum someone no. said the music it ends with e it should be feminine but it's masculine right okay muse is a exception any other word marche yeah marche marche is also masculine okay and you can see the commercial centre commercial means it refers to mall the mall okay when you see the word commercial okay it's masculine but you have to always see the first word when case of compound words you check the first word you see the word centre center mm, that's also an exception right any other word i think the rest of the words fall by the rule goes by the rule right in this side on the other side the second column suggestion Mm, suggestion ends with i o n so it's feminine right it goes by the rule any other exception you have the first exception exception that's maison that was mentioned in the example and portable ah uh, portable okay that was also mentioned in the example given nothing else i think right and you can see the last word uh, the last second word and r v uh, there are certain words which will end with s but it may not it, even in the singular form even in the singular form the spelling itself is and will end with s r v for example r v is opinion r v uh, there is a word suggestion and there is a word opinion r v it ends with a v i s it ends with s right so it's masculine word you can't um, remove the s and make it singular the spelling itself is a v there is another such word uh, uh, that you should know and pay and pay means uh, country country the word ka for country it is pay and you can see it ends with s so it's not that it's uh, plural both singular and the fem plural form the spelling will be the same so it depends on whether you are using am pay or they pay if you make it plural and write it like uh, le pay it will be the countries so depending on the article that's why we are learning the articles in the very first class Uh, on the very first class of grammar okay you can see the difference am pei is a country le pei the countries the article makes the difference here because the country is always p a y s got the point ma'am in the case of compound words we should see the first one or the second one first word oh, in that case it should be feminine right that's that's why sir i said it's an exception uh, any other question i put this uh, definite article 1 in this place okay so i'll be uploading uh, both the documents both the word and the ppt that i have used in this class in the we talk so make sure you write down the notes in your notebook also write down the find the meaning i have not given the meaning of all the words in this page okay it's uh, your work now to find the meaning of these words it's the first uh, simple assignment for you right so try to find the meanings okay now i'll uh, start taking the attendance if you have any questions in between you can ask also